Hello, my name is Rajan Arora and I am a systems engineer at Texas Instruments. In this video, I'll be talking about the pull-up resistors used with the I2C bus and the calculations involved to determine the correct value of these resistors. These calculations apply to any system that uses the I2C bus. Let me start by introducing the I2C bus. The I2C bus is a two-wire bus that is used for communication between a microprocessor and the peripheral chips such as temperature sensors, EEPROM, IO expanders, fan controllers, etc. that also use the I2C communication protocol. The two wires are clock and data, abbreviated as SCL and STA respectively. The I2C bus is an open drain interface standard that requires a pull-up resistor for pulling up the signal to a high state. The pull-up resistors are needed so that they can pull the line high when it is not driven low by an open drain interface. The figure shows a pull-up resistor connected to the I2C bus. When the transistor turns on, it pulls down the I2C bus as shown by the red arrow and the waveform. Similarly, when the transistor turns off, the pull-up resistor pulls up the I2C bus as shown by the red arrow and the waveform on the right. One of the commonly asked questions is how to determine the correct value for the pull-up resistor. Many system hardware engineers use trial and error method to determine the appropriate value of pull-up resistor on the I2C bus. This can be a time-consuming process and may not take into account different corner cases such as larger capacitance. The pull-up resistor value can be a number between a range of resistor values, the min and the max. The minimum value of the pull-up resistor depends upon certain criteria. A very small value of the resistor and thus a stronger pull-up may prevent the I2C pin on an IC from being able to drive low. The logic output low voltage represented by VOL determines the RP min. The RP min depends on VCC, VOL, and the IOL, where VCC is the reference voltage, VOL is the logic output low voltage, and the IOL is the logic output low current. The calculation for the maximum value of pull-up resistor requires knowledge of the parameters about the I2C bus, such as the bus capacitance, represented as CB. Now a quick snippet as to how we derived this equation. We treat the resistance RP and the capacitance CB of the I2C bus as a typical RC circuit. As the value of the voltage V depends on the time T, the pull-up response of an RC circuit to a voltage step of amplitude VCC starting at time T equals zero is written as follows. The VIH is the logic input high voltage and the VIL is the logic input low voltage. Thus the rise time being the difference of the two instances of time is a factor of the pull-up resistor and the capacitance load. The value of the rise time and the capacitance load can be derived from the table where the second, third, and fourth columns are the different modes that I2C can function in, namely standard, fast mode, and fast mode plus. The pull-up resistor RP can now be a value between RP min and RP max. For a better understanding, let's look at an example. For fast mode I2C communication with CB equals 200 picofarads, VCC equal 3.3 volt, calculate the pull-up resistor value. Using the values from the table, the RP max value can be calculated as shown. Similarly, the RP min value is derived with the VCC, VOL, and IOL values. The value for the pull-up resistor can be selected based on the trade-off for the power consumption and speed. For more detailed information of these calculations, you can look at the app at ti.com. Thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch my video. For more information about Texas Instruments I2C interface products, please visit us at ti.com slash i2c. Have a great day.